standard wood. I'm assuming. Um, if you had something like that, that would be awesome. Yeah, I don't have any idea, you know. Well, I could sit, could expedite on the mailing. I could send that uh, overnight or something. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, we're not real happy with it. Send them out, and I'll, I'll, send, I'll send them some type of expedited mail. I get them because it's, it's normal. I was just going to send it, you know, first class mail, but I will, I will send it something else, some other expedited. Yeah, how do, how do I, how do I? I actually, I have an email here. Really good. I know acoustically. Look at the wood in this place, Joe. Are you going to be out in the heat? No. Um, got a place I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll bring it in with me whenever I get, get to his house. I won't let it sit out. Yeah, it's, it's better so it doesn't pucker and pick up This is amazing. It's airflow. I'm going to try this again show you the guitar. Hopefully you can see the uh, medullary rays, the bear claw, however you describe it. I changed the focus on my camera so maybe it's going to work better this time. 
it looks like it's focusing pretty well. And if you look at the back, it's, you can see that it's the same tuners, except for it has ebony knobs. The neck is laminated with the leopard wood, walnut, maple. And here is the uh, inlays I did. Oak leaves, shadowed oak leaves. And then it shows the... I'm hitting the ceiling so I've got to turn the guitar. I'll turn it upside down to show you the close-up of the inlays there. Hopefully that's focused better this time. The sides, all maple inlays, bindings I guess is a better word. I bought the herringbone sound hole rings and the binding or edge trim, whatever that's called from Stu Mac the last time. On this next one I will just be using maple or maybe some other wood. I'm going to try to show these again since I think I have the focus figured out. Is that showing up? A lot of figure in that wood. And then this, that was number seven. And this is the 1A labeled. I'm going to do a little more fine sanding to determine which I think is the best figure. Hopefully that worked a little better. I'm going to go ahead and show the brace wood also. There's a good one. It is quarter sawn brace wood. And then you can see on the end that it is very quarter sawn. Very tight grained. Makes a big difference. Welcome to Pappy's house. On my previous guitar, I have already cut these uh, back pieces out of the leopard wood. I split them and book matched them. Um, I never got the edge straight, so I'm going to straighten this edge so you can see me straighten this edge and prep it for gluing. Those are the book match lines, the pencil lines that are on it. And I'm holding it up to the light and you can still see some daylight between the two because it was just a table saw that cut it. So I'm going to sand it until I get it, that joint to be light tight. Okay, I've got the uh, sandpaper stuck to the uh, table and I am going to lay these on lightly. I can up and down, 
not leaning them this way or that way to round the edges. And then very often checking these to see if we have a tight joint. Looks like it's very tight there and very tight here and slacking in the middle. So let me see if I can see if one of them is worse than the other. That one is worse than the other. So let me take some off of that in. Take some off of that in. I'm putting pressure on the one end only. Has to not sand out the middle. This one. It's kind of the same situation, not as bad. This leopard wood is the most splintery wood you've ever seen in your life. You can't touch the edges. That is much better. We still have a gap in the middle, but it is much better. Keep going. getting really close. A little more fine tuning and I'll bring you back.
some heat there. The flowers are hot, so they are setting. It's not sticky to the touch. Good as I can get a inlay to ever be. It may not be perfect, but it's as perfect as I can get it to be. Here it goes. Okay, my chisels are in horrible shape. Set up here in that garage, and I haven't used them in a while, and they have surface rusted horribly. Finishes out. If it focuses. You can see that those are just as slick. You can't feel it as opposed to Oh, I'm done. Well, with the inlay. I gotta sand it. Clean it up. It's 9 p.m. I started at the, well, this morning when I woke up cutting pieces. Let me take you down and show you the cross. Uh, just the glue's still wet, but looks pretty rough. I get get it sanded. Good night. I hope to go to Jerry's tomorrow. Rose's Stringworks. <laughs> <laughs>